New York City has officially approved a new rule that will require pizzerias to reduce pollutants from their ovens. All right, Fox 5's Arthur Chen takes a closer look at the costly upgrades they'll have to make to get in compliance. I think anyone who tells you that the pizzas are going to be different, that's not true. The pizza will not change because this system is installed. We start with the bottom line, and it comes from Adem Bria, owner of the OG Patsy's Pizzeria, which for the record is on 1st Avenue off 117th Street. The topic of the day will upset some stomachs, as the city has set April 27th as the deadline for wood and coal-fired stoves to cut their emissions by 75 percent, which will require about 130 pizzerias in the city to install a new ventilation scrubbing system that will cost a lot. I've seen a big range, but I've seen no less than 20,000, as high as to 100,000. And then I'm sure a system like this is also going to have to be maintained. Bria says their landmark location here since 1933 will have to have the new system installed and worries for the financial hit smaller pizzerias will be taking, making the point that the city should consider giving financial incentives to help owners make the change. When people install solar panels, they kind of have like uh, financial incentives to do that. So, I mean, it's kind of, I understand why it's happening. I support that. I just wish the financial burden was maybe um, not as big a deal. As for the reason behind all of this, the NRDC says uncontrolled wood and coal burning pizza ovens discharge pollution that affects thousands of residents in the surrounding area when it vents out the exhaust. And Bria says it is right to reduce emissions. I'm actually on the community board in this uh, in East Harlem as well, and we have an exceptionally high asthma rate. It's part of doing business, you know. It's part of being a good neighbor, so you know I can't be too mad at that. In East Harlem, Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News. <laughs>